Okay guys, now let me get something out of the way before I start this review. Now, you may remember that I once had another review on this game, but unfortunately I wanted to remove it from a playlist, but instead of removing it, I deleted it all together. So, I'm going to have to redo this review, but instead I'm going Get right to the mini games and not waste time on all the other minor stuff. So with that, let's get on with the review. So there are ten games. Let's start with shooting range. This game is pretty simple and fun. You must shoot down targets. the border, and your points are multiplied. If you hear a bark, a duck will come find you. If you hit it, you'll get 10 points. In level 2, you're shooting, um, targets. Avoid shooting your meals, you, you will get your penalty Combo. And you get a bonus. In level three, you're shooting um from play targets. The closer they are, so you get the more points you get. Next is level four, where you're shooting cans. If you manage to get five shots, you'll break the count. Now to find a level, you must protect the mutants from being abducted and taken away by spaceships. The more mutants you have left over, the more points you get at the end. If you fail to save all of them, it's you're finished. Yeah. Depending on how well you do, you get a medal. Next is find me. Right, it's pretty simple, but I try to do rather be playing something else because. It, however, I cannot seem to get past the fifth level. And this game just shows that you're blind I am. Because uh, when it's clearly there, I cannot find it. But there are different variations to keep the gameplay sort of interesting, like finding yourself or the lookalikes or the odd me out. I'm as blind as a bat. Probably the worst try yet doing a video game recreation of table tennis. All you do is um, play table tennis is the weirdest way possible and must keep a large rally going. And apparently the Mies complain about you missing and go, Aww, you missed. I really suck at this. Pose me. You got you. You gotta match up with bubbles and avoid them from falling down onto the lines. Don't let the bubbles drop. Get the rainbow bubbles to freeze time. If you get all the bubbles, you will win this stage. You must tilt the Wii remote to make sure you fit in, and after that you win. 
And you move on to the next stage. On later stages, new poses will be introduced. To change them, you must press A or B. E -E. If you don't, make sure not to fail, or else you will lose a lot of life. Next is laser hockey, or as I would rather call it, neon pong! Because it plays in three versus pong. Sorry for the footage. Basically, this is, um, the controls are kind of odd. Because you have to do point to move. Why can't they, um, uh, like, and you tilt it to rotate your paddle. The problem I have with these controls is they can be very finicky, especially when they do not work well. Anyway, there's a time limit, and when it runs out, the game is over. We need more points than your opponent to win. As you can see, I am not doing so well. This is billiards, where some of you may know it, pool. You must hit the cue ball and into the upper balls and sink them into these holes called pockets. Be sure not to, you'll get penalized if you sink the hit the balls in the wrong order or you sink your cue ball into the pockets. your ball. Point. You must say. Try to go for sinking as many balls as you possibly can within the shot. Sometimes my key is to use a lot of power. This game is um pretty odd. You must um catch paper fish. Avoid the brown fish because they are terrible fish that um, reduce your score because of how hated they are. And that angry face is proof. The bonus fish are a unique addition. However, my flaws with this game is the lack of a visual timer. Because you have a time limit. Why are men... Fish, some fishing things like this. Anyway, the better the fish, the more points you score. This game is kind of unique. Um, well, in terms of art style, it is. Because paper fish. But... This game is uh, not really that much of a kind of game. But it is good for what it is. I tried a wannabe fish simulator. Except my problem is, what, another problem I have is the controls. They just feel so finicky. And sometimes, after time is up, you get a credits roll of all the fish you caught, because apparently they started a movie. 
fish, fish caught in the lake. So yeah, next is a pretty unique game, Charge. Well, you must um, you ride a, a steed and trying to trying to um bump in scarecrows. I like this game's art style. It's like it was hand knitted by. I wonder how much yarn this took. And I'm pretty sure this took a long time to knit. But anyway, you're going down, King Scarecrow. King Scarecrow is working. You get if you get all them the scarecrows in the world, you get a perfect with the five point bonus. You can jump over hurdles. You s you have a time limit, so don't take your too much time. And um, this game is pretty fun. And this game is, however, if you're what, um, somebody like we viewer who thinks this game is stupid. And to judge the game by its sense factor, you want to do it is. But if you do not care about the weirdness of the game, this is a pretty fun party game. So close. The Take it. You must shoot down the enemy tanks. I find this game pretty fun, but it is kind of ch challenging on later levels. In order to defeat, you must defeat the, your enemy's tanks in order to advance onto the next battlefield. And you, your goal is to stop the enemy army and avoid hitting yourself. Because these projectiles can can apparently bounce off walls. However, you can use this to take for ricochet shots. But beware, it can only ricochet off once, so no six eight shots, unfortunately. You can you can drop mines with a press of the A A button. Don't move into your own fire, guys. It's very dangerous. And do not plant mines on yourself. It is also very dangerous. Don't do it this unless you are um, invincible to everything. You can fire up to five. You can fire. You can fire up to five missiles at a time. Okay. 
It's a very fun game, but only fun for a while, so... It's worth checking out if you have a Wii. But if you have a Wii U, it will work just fine. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of True Review. And this is True and Hunt Videos, signing off. See you next episode!